Wow, it, it is it is really dark in here. Let me go ahead and put some light down. There we go. Anyway, what is up, guys? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another episode of Constructing Los Angeles. We are here on episode 251. Guys, quickly, I want to thank you for the support on episode 250, the Q&A. I uh, appreciate all of you who wrote questions for that video, and thank you to those of you who got your questions answered as well. So, uh, anyway, just wanted to quickly mention that at the beginning of the video, but you guys might be wondering, where the heck are you, Dan? I, Man, this is, this is a new space, for sure. This is kind of dark and ominous down here. Oh, well, guys, this has actually been a project I've been working on a little bit under the radar here. It's not really a huge project. It just took a lot of time and it was really tedious, so I wanted to kind of keep it secret just to kind of make it make the uh, the finishing touches on it be a little bit more revealing, I guess. So uh, basically what this is is a subway tunnel, and I know it's really dark in here right now, but I've just finished hollowing out the, the tunnel itself, and now the detailing part is next. So let me just go ahead and show you guys where this connects to. Uh, it's so big that like the chunks don't even load in. It took me a really long time to do. So anyway, this connects over here to the subway station, right? And the I always talked about how I wanted the subway tunnel to connect over to the stadium. So spoiler, that's where it connects to. Another thing I did was I actually added another track. So I, I figured it didn't really make sense for a subway station to have only one track. So I added another track under here. This was hard to build because it's literally right underneath of the Los Santos Customs. So I had to make the ceiling really low. And uh, by the way, Los, Los Angeles Customs, not Los Santos Customs. But um, yeah, uh, I had to make the ceiling really low here just so it barely, the train barely fits. And this is the same kind of train um, as you saw over in the stadium area. So uh, I have two tracks right now. The only thing I still have to figure out is how to actually like access the other track because as of right now, the only way to get there would be to like walk over the first track, which is extremely not viable. So. I have to find another way to kind of access it. I'm thinking about just kind of creating like a, a staircase like across through here or something. I know this like sticks out to the outside, but I'll have to make like some extra part of the building and then have like a staircase that goes like straight down the middle right here in between the two tunnels. And other than that tunnel, the other three openings are blocked off just because they don't lead anywhere. Um, there's only one tunnel that's actually like a real thing. The other ones are just, again, like I said, blocked off. So anyway, let me fly through here. And show you guys you know where this connects to so again this took me i just i've been working on this for the last couple weeks uh just on and off just trying to break as much as i can using a lot of tnt and things like that and uh i was able to connect it all the way around over here so this used to be a blocked off space and now it's actually open and it runs all the way underneath the city and just like that it kind of the train track continues all the way over to here and this is how you take the train to the game so uh, if you're over at the subway station in the downtown area of the city, you can hop on a train and then, you know, pull up right next to the stadium. This is something I've wanted to add for a long time, and now it's finally, like, starting to come together. So really the only thing I have left to do for those subway tracks is add, like, the rails and things like that, the rail system, add some more detail to it, maybe some lighting, as you guys probably should have uh, noticed by now. So anyway, um, that is kind of just like a little update I wanted to give you guys on something I've been working on. And what I want to do today is kind of just transition a little bit to something I was actually working on my live stream, uh, my most recent live stream, I was working on the Mirage apartment building. So this is the pretty tall apartment building just off the plaza. Uh, nice looking building, one of my favorite apartments on the world. And uh, on that live stream, I was able to finish the staircase and I was able to do a level or two levels of uh, fl uh, interior design. And uh, over the last couple of days since that live stream, I've just been grinding it out and I've been able to kind of add all the interiors. It's all the same interiors; they're just copied and you know the same the same concept on every floor. So uh, the only floor that hasn't been put in yet is the top floor. And during my live stream, uh, I got some suggestions to build a penthouse apartment. And the reason why I'm doing this is because each one of these floors, similar to the Alpine Mansion, is two floors each, or each each apartment is two floors each. So there are two apartments per two floors, if that makes sense. And because of just the way it lined up, there was actually like one level on the top here. And I decided instead of adding a level to the building or subtracting a level of the building, I just left it, left this top level uh, available. And I'm going to do a little penthouse apartment for today's video. That's what I'm going to start to work on. So um, that is the plan for today. Again, uh, this building is getting really close to being done. So once I have the penthouse apartment, I really just have to go back and just uh, double check everything. 
make sure I didn't make any mistakes uh, in like the copying. So uh, I just got to do that and and then we'll be good to go. Just a couple of small things I added. Uh, I kind of added a little M in the front here because I changed the front. So the front doors used to be here, but then I added the staircase on the live stream that goes like straight up the middle, which I thought was a really smart thing to do because I needed a staircase and I need to find a spot for it. So I just put it in the middle, added this cool looking M with a bunch of different kinds of stone. And now the apartment entrances, there's one on each side. So right there, Mirage Apartments and same thing right there. And that's kind of how the interior works right now. So let's go up to the top again and let's see what we can do with this penthouse. So I don't really have a whole lot of ideas for this. I kind of just want to see what I can come up with on the spot. See if I can, you know, put together a decent looking design. So first thing we have to do is connect this to the staircase and kind of have it so there's a hallway. So let me go ahead and do that. We got one, two, three, four, five. I'm probably gonna turn this here and then connect it across. And I'll probably just put a little, well, the door will be there. I'll probably put maybe a little table and a, and I don't know, a little couch or something like that in this corner. Uh, and this will be kind of like the lobby for the penthouse apartment because we don't want the staircase connecting straight into the apartment because then like any you know simpleton could come off the street and just walk right up and in. And that's not really that good for security purposes. So uh, obviously we need to kind of make a, a separation. So this little small room will do that for us. And this is literally right below the top of the roof. I'm pretty sure this connects to the outside. Yes, it does. So uh, that is definitely something that we have to consider. So can't really put any like ceiling lighting actually like in the ceiling unless I double stack in here, which I don't really think I'm going to do, but you never know what will happen. So anyway, uh, so this is going to be the entrance to the apartment from the staircase side. So now we have to do it from the, the elevator side as well. And that's the next thing we're going to do. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And I think we have five blocks going across here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we'll do that as well. I'll probably actually do a little bit less on this one because I don't want to take up too much space on this floor. But anyway, guys, some other things I've been working on uh, behind the scenes on the world lately. I've been starting to lay out some space for the northeast area of the world. I know that's been an area of the map that I'm sure many of you guys have been waiting for me to start. Uh, it's been a while since I've kind of made some progress in that area and I have made some so I'll be ready to reveal that to you guys probably next episode I'll you know trek up there and start working on that space because I think it's going to be potentially a cool area of the world it's going to be a little bit different from the rest of the city because of the theme it's going to be a slightly less um I don't know like how what the word would be but uh, it's not going to be as well I don't know like it's not going to be like a wealthy area like most of the city I think I've, you guys have probably noticed this, and I've noticed it as well, that most of this city is kind of high-end, and I don't, obviously that's not how it is, so I want to, you know, create an area that's not quite as high-end, and just kind of like some standard urban living for like lower income demographics, I guess, I don't know, like what how else I would say it, but um, that's kind of like the plan for that area, and I'll kind of, you know, go into more detail with like my plans for that uh, next episode, that's, that's what I'm going to do, so... Anyway, let me come in here. So we kind of have, you know, a door here and a door there, which connects to the stuff. So that's fine. The elevator and the staircase. And so now what we have to do is just lay out some space because I want to keep this kind of open because that always looks good having like open space on these builds. So I'm going to try to keep it as open as I can. Uh, what I might do is start to use some different blocks throughout the build. So maybe like some andesite and some dark oak wood and some acacia wood, just so it's not all like white and gray. I'm also going to place some glowstone down. Another uh, concept that I wanted kind of to address for this episode was the, the whole concept of when do I know if the city is complete? This was something that a couple of people were asking me on Twitter. And the thing about the city is, you know, it, there's so many moving parts and there's so many things that still need to be worked on. So it's hard for me to identify one specific point when the world is going to be absolutely complete. And that's something that um, is going to kind of come into play pretty soon because we are making some pretty good progress lately. And I would say the world's maybe like 80 or 90% complete now. So you know, it's not going to be too much longer now. Hopefully just a couple more months. Uh, I kind of have this like soft goal right now that, you know, it's, it's not 100% set. That's why I call it a soft goal that I want to finish the Xbox 360 version of the world by 300, by episode 300. It's kind of just like a little small goal that I set a few days ago. And I might, 
you know really try to stick to that so that's that's definitely something i'm going to be striving for and just thinking about that you know how do i know when the world is going to be done i think like the, the one you know thing that i need to you know make sure i do is furnish all the buildings and just make sure you know the entire space of the map has been accounted for and then once i have all that complete then what I have to come and do, and this is like, this will be the last step of the world. Like this will be literally the last thing that I do before the world is complete. And that is coming through the map and I am going to proofread and double check, proofread for lack of a better term, double check literally every build in the world. Like everything is gonna be double checked. So obviously, um, you know, I'm talking about like all the old stuff, you know, in the neighborhood and area and everything like that. I'm just gonna go through every build again and I'm just gonna make sure that there's no mistakes and that everything is exactly how I want it to be and how I intended it to be. And that's gonna be kind of the final step that I'll take to kind of complete the map. So uh, that's definitely, you know, something that is, you know, gonna be coming up soon, hopefully. And that's kind of how I plan on, you know, going through that is, you know, that's gonna be the final step is going back through and checking everything. Like literally not a single crack of the world is going to be left unchecked i don't want any like anything any blocks misplaced i don't want any you know flower pots not filled or carpets placed wrong or doors that aren't there or doors that are like flipped and like not right nothing nothing everything needs to be like perfect so that's going to be you know the goal once you know all the stuff and all the interiors put in so we'll kind of uh, get to that you know in a few months when we're get when we're at that point but we still have a lot more work to do so not really i just wanted to kind of address that because it's kind of an interesting idea because it's hard for me to really quantify when this world is complete because it's it's so big so it's hard to you know decide when everything is done when danville was a lot easier because it was just a bunch of houses so and it was on a super flat world so all i had to do was just make the houses and furnish them and it was you know simple as that this world not not quite that easy so it's definitely a, a interesting concept for sure by the way uh real quick just to kind of recap what i've done in the last couple minutes here just starting to figure out what i want to do with the ceiling also trying to figure out uh what i want to do with this space and as you can see i put in some different color walls so right here is going to be the master bedroom i think so i'll have the bed in this corner probably won't make this room as like super wide as it is now i might make this a little bit uh, smaller here just to give my space or give myself a little bit more space for the bed so i'll probably do that and like i said a minute ago i just want to use a bunch of different blocks for the walls and i might even switch out the floor for some different colors instead of oak wood so it's not the same as the previous levels that's another possibility but we're just gonna kind of you know see what we can come up with so this is what i plan on having the master bedroom look like which i think is a pretty solid looking area and over here will probably end up being the living room space, maybe. And then over here, we can have the kitchen. Over here, I don't know what else we could put over here. Maybe just like some more sitting areas. And then I kind of want to just leave everything really open. Like that's what I want to do. Maybe the dining room table, like right there. Um, so we need, obviously we need a bedroom. And this is only one level too. So this is like all the space I have. We got the bedroom, we got the bathroom. We're gonna have to add a guest bathroom. That's another thing we're gonna have to put in. What I could probably do is something like this. Let me see what I can come up with here. I'm gonna take this wall across. And I'm gonna open up some space here, maybe like that. And we can have a small uh, powder room here, as well as like a cupboard or a pantry. And then I'll have the kitchen in this space. Seems like a solid option. Just to kind of close off some space a little bit more and add some more rooms. I would like to add some sort of guest bedroom. I'm not really sure where I'd put that. I'm not sure if I have enough space for something like that. I could put it like in this corner. We'll see what else. I'm gonna account for like the kitchen, the living room space, as well as the master bedroom before I get to any of that other stuff. So uh, one thing I wanna do is take this stone out because this, this stone wall I like. So I wanna kind of expand this into the build. So we'll kind of move this in. And I might even put like a fireplace on this as well. We'll see what happens. I definitely want to add some sort of modern fancy fireplace and kind of get a little bit of inspiration from the upgrades that I made to the Eclipse Tower. So we'll see if we can do something like that. And that space there is a little awkward. Might have to make some adjustments to that. 
or I could just simply take this one out one block extra that could work as well yeah I'll just do that all right so now what I want to do is kind of create a little opening here or something I want to create like a little pillar maybe it's not a good spot to do it right there maybe we'll do it somewhere else but I want to create like a little pillar or something like that in the room somewhere not really sure where yet but anyway let's see uh, so I'm gonna close off this space here let me grab some quartz stairs real quick and place these in here Let's place that there and there and there but uh, overall guys I would say that I've been pretty happy with the progress I've made. I've been really grinding this world out last couple of days so it's been <laughs> it's making me a little bit more optimistic and I'm getting a little bit closer to like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel which is ironic because I was in a tunnel at the beginning of the video I'm doing some sort of foreshadowing I, whatever anyway <laughs> um, so I you know I just for all the progress I've made last couple of days no, I always like get to thinking about, you know, when, when is it going to be done and, you know, just slowly but surely getting there. You know, it's it's like the tortoise and the hare, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm the tortoise. It's going to get done. We'll see how long it takes, but it is going to get done, I tell you. All right. Um, right. Let's see. So, again, kitchen space here. Probably end up doing like a kitchen island right here. So we'll do like an island in the middle. I'll have some some tables going along that wall here and maybe I'll move this over just so there's a little bit more space there for that table for this pantry this will be just like a walk-in pantry I'll put like the refrigerator in here maybe maybe I'll leave this space actually open and then like the refrigerator goes in here yeah that's probably what I'll do it sounds like a little bit better of an idea all right so we'll leave that space open we have ourselves the kitchen I'm gonna place some shelving up here as well and maybe like along that so it's like along the window kind of frames that window I like it and maybe not above the window actually now you know I actually do like it above the window so indecisive all right so we have that so that's kind of like the layout of the kitchen more or less and what I'll probably end up doing is actually I could add the dining room table over here it could be a solid spot for it this could be a pretty good spot for the dining room table like right around the uh, because it's good because it'll have a really nice view of, like the skyline and everything well in theory it's not a lot of render distance on Xbox but you guys get the idea um, what else do we want to do to this I might actually end up scrapping this stone wall here just so I have a little bit more space for this table mmm I mean it's not gonna be like this big ideally so I think it'll be fine that's just kind of like a you know layout of what it would look like so uh, let's see what else. So we got the uh, kitchen, dining room table, powder room, pantry, connection to the elevator, connection to the staircase, master bedroom concept with a master bath uh, en suite. And over here, we're just going to have like a big, you know, chill space, right? <laughs> so I'll have like a huge couch, like zoop it around like that. And we'll have like obviously a coffee table in the middle or something like that. And I'm just laying everything out with this block right now just to kind of, you know, get my mind in the right spot here. Just trying to figure out what I want to do with this. All right, so we have that. And then over here, we could. there's something else I need to add to this. This could be the spot where I add like the pillar. That pillar concept that I was mentioning a second ago. Um, maybe I'll do it like one, two, three, four four blocks away or maybe three blocks away and then do like a three by three pillar and then we can have the the fireplace in the middle of that so probably not the best block to use for this actually <laughs> using the uh the car or the wool so it'll get burned down but we could put the fire in the middle there i don't really think it i don't think we should have a problem as long as fire spread is off and stuff like that yeah, fire spread is one of those things where it's going to have to be off on this world. Like, when I put it up for download, I'm going to put a sign, like, right in front of the spot where you spawn in that says, immediately turn off fire spread. I did the same thing for Danville. <laughs> They're, like, I, I'm going to light all the uh, fireplaces, I think. I, I probably will light all the fireplaces. And I don't want anything burning down the second you guys download it. So, actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I probably will end up lighting the fireplaces on the final build. I'm not 100% sure, but that concept right there, big fan of that. Okay, 
So we'll do something like that. And then what I want to do is add some stuff to the ceiling. I don't want the ceiling just to be flat and boring. I want to add some modern concepts to the ceiling. So we're going to do that now. Uh, I'll probably end up doing something like this. Oops. I just want to kind of take some like linings of of wool running across and just connecting the ceilings and just kind of interesting patterns and putting some lighting in it just because it you know it mixes things up so you kind of have that connected there and that's kind of cool and then we can take some beacons or something like that and put some lighting in the ceiling just to kind of th improve the concept of it so maybe like put one right there put one right there and just you know something like that right just add some lighting i think it looks cool so, and what we could do, we could have like a, you know, a, par a parallel kind of concept here with the fireplace. I could have another one right here. Nah, I kind of like this open space in here. I really do like this a lot. I, I got to figure out what I want to add in this area. But I do really like the open space. I might do like some divider walls or something like that. Um, something I could do. This is a concept that I've done before. And it's a concept I really like. So let me go ahead and experiment with this real quick kind of doing these divider walls to like instead of just putting like a straight up flat wall here with like a block kind of use some glass panes some white glass panes and you kind of create this little like divide between the space but it's um it's kind of cool right it looks awesome so we'll do something like that i think that'll look pretty cool um do i want to connect this to here i think i do all right so we're making some good progress on this I do like the concept of that right there. I am I am a big fan of that. Uh, the one thing I don't like is how these fences, like if that fence connects to the ceiling, I'm not a big fan of that. So maybe I'll just either fix that or leave that alone. But it kind of just creates a little bit of a division in the floor plan, but it still keeps it kind of open and cool. So I'll probably end up doing something like this and then maybe add some, some grass or something like that. And well, another thing I could do maybe in this corner Let's put a little pond or something like that. You kind of see these in the GTA apartments. They have these uh, spaces here. And we have some open space down here that I need to close up. So actually, I can do this in like a different color. Let me try like stone for now. So I'll put some stone in, right? And I can put some water down. So let me throw down some water. And then I can grab some blocks like, uh, I don't know, just any random stuff sand we can grab some some leaves and some lily pads and some any anything else you can think of right just work up start off by putting in some water and real quick i actually have to place this light gray wool underneath it here do that real quick and that's going to be a dark oak wood planks all right let's put that in there we go and we'll just fill the rest of that water there. So then I can start to kind of just like randomly span some sand. Just like some you know, assortment of space. Put some lily pads in. Put some leaves on the walls and things like that. Kind of creating this little shrubbery more or less. It's kind of what I'm going for. And let's see. We'll put one more right there. Actually, I don't really like it there. And then for the, like the last bit, we can do... Maybe a gravel block. We'll, f we'll put in a couple of gravel blocks as well as some sugar cane. If I can remember where the heck sugar cane is. Here we go. And we'll place that there. Place a sugar cane. Maybe like right there. Just like a couple pieces of sugar cane. And to kind of just create this little, you know, garden space. I think it looks pretty good. Too Nothing too fancy, but it kind of just adds a little bit of uh, character to the build. And it looks pretty cool. So... We got that put in might end up putting maybe a little lining of i don't know put some stone slabs underneath if we need to put those underneath then we got to see what else we're going to add to this place because i think we're doing making some good progress here i'm gonna have to take a step back and look at it all right so let's see we're gonna grab some planks and nope never mind we're not gonna grab some planks there we go okay so we have kind of a kitchen layout, dining room, this cool little natural space, fireplace, nice big sitting area with the balcony that overlooks the city. We have a master bedroom in here. 
this is a pretty cool looking apartment. All right, so we have kind of like the layout of this put in. So now I just have to add the detail, furnish it, and probably end up putting like a big carpet here. I think that'd be a cool thing to do. And uh, then I have to just kind of go back and check every floor again, make sure everything is good. And then the Eclipse Towers, or not the Eclipse Tower, the Mirage Apartments is going to be a completed build. So pretty exciting stuff. Just kind of like another build that's getting close to being complete. Probably going to do a tour of this build when it's done, maybe tomorrow if I can finish it tonight. And uh, yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Constructing Los Angeles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Made some really nice progress on the Mirage apartment. Gave you guys some updates on some things I've been working on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I uh, have some more updates on this world to give you next episode with the Northeast. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it. It's been Dan Lags, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.